The greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. Leonardo da Vinci. Oh great, it's going to be one of those serious episodes. Sorry Aquaman. Aww. At the beginning of most of my videos, I feel obliged to state that it's only reflective of how I personally feel. And isn't that in itself quite sad? The fact that I feel compelled to do it through the fear that an endless amount of keyboard warriors are going to lose their minds over a dumb video on the internet. I think that's kind of the issue. We hold people's opinions on this godly pedestal, validating them to become more than just, well, an opinion. And to be fair, there is a reason for this. Because in essence, our entire personalities are based around other people's opinions that we either choose to disagree or agree with. And whether or not this is a good thing is another video for another day, but the fabric of how we regard opinions is interesting. So what influences our opinions? Well, it can be anything from your parents, your friends, pop culture, social media, the government, that random guy you heard say you didn't like a popular movie, even YouTube channels that have built entire audiences through nothing more than a presentation of their opinions. The fact of the matter is, when people say, no one cares about your opinion, or what do you mean you disagree with me on something? I don't want to hear that. And that means you're wrong. The opposite is actually true. People are inherently curious as to what other people think, no matter if we agree with it or not. We naturally want to share ideas, thoughts, and opinions. And the problems that opinions cause are based entirely around how people choose to react to them. And this is why opinions piss me off. Why can't you just accept that this person doesn't like this thing, or this person does like this thing? Now let's answer my own rhetorical question. Why does everyone have to be so fucking stupid? Well, I guess being a reasonable, thoughtful human is pretty much unheard of. And it's partially because you're almost validating the opinion by reacting in such a way, which creates this endless cycle of people trying to change one another's opinions. Some people make it their mission to try and change the opinions of those who disagree with them, which almost never works. It's very difficult to try and change someone's opinion this way, and forcibly trying to change someone will do nothing but give them more of a reason to plant themselves even deeper into their current mindset. I think people in general are just scared to form their own opinions. We desperately search for a way to validate everything, when in reality we should be focusing on the thing itself not why you're an idiot for feeling the way you do. I guess what I'm trying to say is, just don't be a cock. It is possible to put forward a thought without insulting someone. Or if you do still want to insult everyone, at least try to turn it into comedy or something creative. These semi-serious videos are fucking boring for me to make, but I feel like they're necessary. And remember, this is an opinion video about my opinion of opinions. It doesn't mean I'm correct. That's down for you to decide. So basically, instead of just saying, fuck you when you think I'm wrong, give me a reason, give me a dialogue, give me something to work with, create something more. And that doesn't apply just to me. Call out any other YouTubers or personalities you follow, but just be reasonable about it. Or just completely ignore me and give me plenty of material for future comment comeback episodes. Your choice. But if you do choose to take anything away from this video, make it be this. You can agree or disagree on whatever the fuck you want, just don't be a cunt about it. So what do you think about opinions? This is one of those subjects I could just drone on about until the end of time, but I wanted to keep it nice and short. I'm actually surprised I didn't make this video sooner, to be honest. I guess that had to happen eventually. Anyway, leave your comments below as to what you think, and as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye.